The U.S. city of Seattle adopted a goal to reduce emissions by 7 percent by 2012 relative to a 1990 base year. The base year emissions were 6.13 megaton CO2 equivalent, so a reduction of 7 percent would result in an allowable emissions of 5.70 megaton CO2 equivalent in 2012. In the target year of 2012, the actual emissions were 6.13 megaton CO2 equivalent. Note that it was just a coincidence that the emissions were the same as base year emissions. Seattle retired 0.09 megaton CO2 equivalent transferable emission units, giving them an accountable emissions of 6.04 megaton CO2 equivalent. Notice that the land sector was excluded from the goal boundary. In this example, there was no recalculation of the allowable emissions since there had been no significant changes to methods or errors found. Since the accountable emissions are higher than the allowable emissions, the goal was assessed as not achieved. In order to fully understand why emissions changed over the goal period, a decomposition analysis was performed to determine how various emissions drivers contributed to the decrease in GHG emissions between 1990 and 2012. A variety of emission drivers were identified and their contribution was calculated. The increases in emissions were mainly attributed to population and economic growth, while emissions decreases were attributed to a variety of factors, including moving away from coal and gas to produce electricity, more efficient vehicles, building efficiencies, and increased efficiency of air travel. This information has given Seattle valuable data for designing their future mitigation goals.